Now for two firms X and Y, the following table gives the value of the returns during different states of economy. That is expansion, normal and contraction along with the probability of occurrence of each state. The covariance of the returns for X stock X and Y is closest to. So first we have to find the expected return on stock A. And that will be equal to 0 0.35 into 25% plus 0 0.4 into 15% plus 0 0.25 into 8%. So we have multiplied the return on stake stock A in each state with the probability of the happening of that state. state. So it will be equal to 16 point. 75%. Similarly, the return on stock B is equal to 0 0.35 into 20% plus 0 0.4 into 12% plus 0 0.25 into 5% and that is equal to 14.25%. Now the covariance is equal to summation of the, pro the individual probability of each state Ti into return on stock A minus expected return on stock A into multiplied by return on stock B minus expected return on stock B. So if we do the calculation for this problem then these are the values which we get. The return on the stock is 16.75%. Return on stock A, that is the average expected return. Similarly, for stock B, it is 14.25%. And when we calculate the covariance for each state using this formula, and when we add up the entire covariance for all the three states, we get the value of covariance as 0 0.0036. So in this case, option A is the correct option. Option A is the correct option.